The Aperture F7 LED light is a really versatile light because it can be powered by a lot of different sources. But does your power source affect your light output? Let's find out. So like I said guys, the Aperture F7 is a great little LED light and one of the things that makes it so versatile is that it can be powered in a bunch of different ways. It can of course take your Sony NPF style batteries here on the back, but it also has a DTAP connector on the side here as well as a USB-C input. Now when running this on USB-C, I was getting the feeling that even at 100% my light output looked a little bit weak. I wanted to see if that was actually the case or if I was just kind of seeing things. So today we're going to do some uh, scientific testing here to find out once and for all if your power source makes a difference into how much output you're getting from your F7. So in order to do this test, I've pulled together a whole bunch of different power sources that we're going to plug into the F7 and see what results we get. Here I've lined everything up that we're going to be using. We have two USB adapters right here. These are both 5 volts but produce different amps, so we're going to see if that makes a difference. We have our standard NPF style battery. We have an NPF dummy battery wall adapter. And we also have a DTAP that's going to be coming off of this V-mount battery right here. So we're going to see how all of these produce different results. So we're also going to be using a few additional tools to do the, the testing and measuring today, and I have those right here. The first thing we have here, this is a USB safety tester. So what this is going to do is when we plug in via USB, it's going to show me not only the voltage, making sure it's 5 volts, but it's also going to show me exactly how many amps are being pulled at that time. It's going to be really handy. We also have a uh, regular multimeter here, and I'm going to use this to measure the voltage on the DTAP battery to see exactly what kind of voltage we're getting out of it. And then, of course, we have my CB600 light meter right here that we're going to use to measure the output of the F7 while using all of these different sources. So we already know that our USB adapter should be 5 volts. We know that our NPF battery and our NPF wall adapter should be about 7.4 volts because that's what's listed on them. But I want to double check real quick what we're going to be getting from our V-mount battery. So I have the battery here and I have our multimeter. We're going to go ahead and turn this on and just real quick check what we're getting out of this DTAP port here on the side. Let me get my positive and negative in there. And there we go, we're getting about 16 volts. So we know we're going to be getting about 16 volts when we power this via DTAP. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and test the light with the USB adapters, both the 1 amp and the 2.4 amp, and see exactly how much it's drawing using that little USB meter. So as you can see here, I have the light. It is connected via USB-C uh, to a standard USB cable right here, and we're going to plug it right into our tester, which is plugged into our 2 amp adapter. As soon as we plug this in, the light should power on and we should start getting a reading here on the screen and indeed we are it looks like we're getting 1.68 amps pulling on this so it is pulling more than one amp and that's what it's getting out of that so now we have our apple uh, one amp adapter plugged in here and we have that in there so we're going to go ahead and plug the light in and see what we get when we plug in we are getting our results of 1.18 so as you can see, with this adapter being limited to only outputting one amp, it actually is sort of throttling the light a little bit because the light will draw up to 1.7 amps. So I think we're probably losing some output there, but let's get to the actual output test now uh, and see what we got. So here I have the F7 set up. It is exactly three feet away from this backdrop right here. So this is where I'm going to be measuring the light output. I have the light set to 100% and I also have the color temperature set to 5600. On the F7, the brightest output of the light is at 5600 because it's a perfect mix of all of the tungsten and daylight LEDs being on. So I'm gonna see what our max output is. Using my CB600 uh, light and color meter, I went through and tested the light's maximum output using all of those power sources we talked about earlier, and let's check out the results. So there we have it guys, there is a difference in the light output on the Aperture F7 depending on how you are powering it. 
The USB 5 volt 1 amp delivers half of the power of USB 5 volt 2.4 amps, which delivers half of the power of a true Sony NPF battery, which is equal to, as we would expect, an NPF dummy battery, and surprisingly enough, is also equal to uh, a DTAP connection. The only benefit you're really gonna get out of DTAP is gonna be runtime because obviously these have some serious storage for power. Um, so I hope you guys found that interesting. I had had a few people asking me questions about this and it was something that I was also curious about myself. Uh, so keep this in mind when you're finding solutions for powering your Aperture F7 because you might find yourself only using a half or maybe even a quarter of its full power depending on how you're powering it. So guys, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button down there and that notification bell to get alerted every time I have new videos coming out. We're always gonna be exploring cool new stuff and I hope you guys tune in. I'll see you guys in the next one.